name is Ias Caravalla, Principal Analyst with ZK Research, and I'm going to talk to you about what is team collaboration. In fact, one of the best examples I can think of for team collaboration is Cisco Spark, and since I just came back from the Cisco Spark Summit, I'm going to wear my Cisco Spark hat as I define it. The first element of team collaboration is it involves both synchronous and asynchronous communications. There are needs for both. If I need an answer from somebody immediately, I, I want to be able to use synchronous communications. However, if I, if I have the time to wait and I want to be able to send a message and have somebody respond tomorrow, asynchronous works just as, just as well. So team collaboration encompasses the best of both sync and async communications. Second, it's team oriented, and that's a big change in the collaboration space. Most traditional communications and collaboration tools are optimized for the individual worker. You build your presence list, you have your email directory. With team collaboration, the, uh, the, the user list and all the content and everything is shared by the team. In fact, it democratizes collaboration across that team. Third is it's work stream centric. So if you think about traditional email or even voice calls, everything is sorted by time. It makes it very, very difficult to find any information. I'm sure we've all been through that case where you let your plane lands and you're looking for a message from somebody and you're scrolling back and forth through your, through your email and you can't find it. If you use a team collaboration tool, now things are sorted by work stream or channel and everything related to a certain project is organized together, allowing you to find the information you want very, very quickly. Next, it reduces email usage. There is no tool that has been more overused in, work, in the workplace today than email. We send emails for everything. And because of that, the, we have email clutter and you can't find anything. If we start using companies that use work stream communications or team collaboration more, tend to use email less. In fact, some organizations have told me they've seen a 40, 50, even 60% reduction in the amount of email that's used. Next is it's persistent. Right? Nothing drives somebody um, more crazy than sending a message to somebody and having it be deleted or, uh, or having the person not be able to check it and you wind up having to send people messages, leave them emails, uh, shoot them a text message. Uh, uh, team collaboration has persistent messaging in place and all the, uh, all the communications and actually the document management is persistent. So I can take uh, a collaborative session that I'm doing right now, I can turn off my tool, I can go to the airport, I can bring it back on my tablet, and everything resumes from where it was. Next is it, it's unified collaboration. And I know this concept of unified communications has been around for a while, but what's happened is that in an effort to make people more productive, we create more and more tools on separate platforms. And now we're at, at the point where we have two, three, four, five, six different unified communication solutions. Team collaboration actually bring those all together under one platform, so it's truly unified collaborations. Next is it's secure. All communications in most team collaboration tools, especially in Cisco Spark, it's been built around this concept of security. So your communications are encrypted, your file storage is encrypted, your messages are encrypted. So you can be sure that nobody's stealing your confidential information. And lastly, and maybe most importantly, is it's cloud-driven. And by making team collaboration available from the cloud, it enables us to do multi-screen and multi-device capabilities. And so whether I want to be able to collaborate with somebody on my desktop through WebRTC or through my mobile phone through an app or through a dedicated uh, type of uh, video conferencing device, I can do that and have the same experience because it's cloud delivered. And more importantly, what the cloud is going to bring in the future is the ability to apply machine learning to all our communications and help us discover new insights that maybe we, we wouldn't have had otherwise. So those are the key criteria for team collaboration. I want to thank you for joining me today on Whiteboard Friday.